you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom so i was going to post a clean with me today because i'm cleaning up my master bedroom but i'm still gonna post that video but that's not that's not what's going to be what goes up today so i wanted to do an update on my washing machine because i've gotten so many views and so many comments on that video i figured it would probably be a good idea to kind of update you guys on how it's been doing because it's been what six months around there pushing about six months that i've had it that i've been using it it's still going strong but there are some things that i have learned about the machine uh, that i want to share with you guys so first we're going to talk about the type of soap that you use so before i was using um just regular powdered soap because i feel like that sticks to the clothes better but what i notice is that certain powders in this washing machine will leave residue so it'll leave kind of like a white cast on some of our stuff so like our black t-shirts and things like that i felt like it left kind of a black cast so we stopped using that and i actually have some uh clothing items here to show you and the other thing that i have discovered fabric software makes the world of a difference so i don't even know if you can tell but so these are some leggings that i washed and i washed these without fabric softener i don't i wish there was a way for you to like maybe you can kind of like tell so this material is really really soft these are leggings from old navy but when i don't use fabric softener in this machine it comes out like let's see if you can hear can you hear that it sounds kind of crunchy so i feel like without using the fabric softener the clothes kind of dry crunchy i don't know if that makes sense but that's the way that i feel but when i use fabric softener that does not happen now the soap that i have been using that i found that has worked the best arm and hammer plus the power of oxyclean stain fighter so i have found that this has been what works the best in this machine and this is he and it says for all machines and if you don't know what he is that's high efficiency um and usually you use those in like the really expensive washer and dryers uh, to make sure that they don't mess up. But HE detergents, I feel work the best in my machine. And my machine is down here. So that is what I feel works best with the machine. I still do not use the water inlet. So it comes with a hose. And I actually think I got rid of it because it just, I'm impatient and I felt like it took too long. So I still don't use the hose uh, to put the water in. I still just use a regular good old bucket from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna do a load of laundry just so y'all can see so you don't have to like revert to the old video. So it's just a plain old bucket from Dollar Tree that I use and the fabric softener that I use that I recommend to everyone. Like if you've never tried the method, method, method fabric softener, you need to. It smells so dang good. Okay, let me tell you, let me tell you a story real quick. Whenever we moved, I've been using this fabric softener for years. When we moved from Texas to here, I washed every single piece of clothing that we had and the things that were for warmer weather, I put in space bags because we moved here in February and it was like cold outside. Like we got here and I think it was like negative 18 degrees. It was freezing. So whenever I took everything out of the space bags, when the season was, it was time to wear our warmer weathered clothing, it smelled like that fabric softener. Like it's, they, the clothes smelled so good, you guys. Like I cannot stress enough like how good this stuff smells. And the scent, they have several scents. This is beach sage. And I love the smell of sage, that's why. Maybe that's why. And this is also HE for all washers. So if you have another washing machine, you can definitely use it. So the main thing that I think I wanna talk about really quickly before I do a load and I show you guys how it works in case you haven't seen my old video, I wanted to do an updated one, is you have to be careful with how much you put in your washer. Um, so right now, I have a good amount of items in here. Uh, I'll show you guys whenever I start to wash. But jeans do take a lot longer to dry, but I feel like that's kind of common sense if you've ever hand washed jeans before. They do take longer to dry. Um, and the drying rack that I use doesn't always get our jeans dry. So I will usually put them on a hanger and I'll hang them up like, I don't know, like in the room, like I'll put it, there's a command hook on the wall in our room. I'll put it over there or I'll just like tack, a thumb tack in the wall and let them dry like that. I don't really wear jeans, that's my husband's thing for work. But for this machine, 
two pairs of jeans in here is about right. So for you to get very, a good wash and to feel like the jeans are very, very clean, two is more than enough for in here. I wouldn't go anywhere beyond that. Same thing for towels. You could probably do about three towels in here depending on what type of towels you use. If you use like the thinner towels that are like from Walmart, the ones that are a little bit cheaper, you could probably push about four. Um, but we use the towels from Target and they're much thicker and I use about three in there and then I'll throw like maybe some socks in there or maybe like my other uh, tea towels and stuff like that will fit in here just fine. Now, drying. So the dryer or the spin dryer comes with this little guy right here. So. This little guy right here keeps your clothes down while it's spinning, but what I notice is that you have to fill the spin dryer to the correct capacity. So if you only put one pair of jeans in this machine and then you put this in, it'll knock around like super, super bad. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So you have to make sure it's full enough to where it gets like the right momentum and then it spins perfectly on its own. So that's like pretty much all the information that I have. Like I do two cycles, so I'll do my wash and my rinse. If I'm washing something that like maybe my husband spilled hops or grain or something on himself, um, I'll wash it twice and then I'll do a rinse cycle. Um, so usually just the wash and the rinse is just fine. The wash cycle is 15 minutes. The rinse cycle, I'll usually do 15 minutes as well. Or if I'm like kind of in a hurry, I'll do like 10 minutes if it's just like a couple of small things. Um, the other thing is I recommend you clean this out regularly. So I have been doing just a cycle with only vinegar, a um, little bit of baking soda, and essential oil is what I've been using to clean this out. I've contemplated using a bleach to do it, but I don't want that to affect my clothing. So that's what I've been doing and it's been working very, very well. Um, it does filter out things quite well. So we went to the beach a couple weeks ago and there's a lot of little pebbles in the lakes and stuff and a lot of them were still falling out of like my husband and jace's pockets because they wear swim trunks and the washing machine catches them pretty well if not it will release through the little tube here i don't know if you can see it through the little tube here whenever you're releasing the water so i do recommend that you maybe have like one of those drain catcher things like what you would use for your hair just so all those rocks and things don't get down into your drain so that's the information that I have for y'all. I'm gonna run a cycle so I can kind of show y'all what I mean about how much clothing is good for one wash and then how much you should use for a dry. So we're gonna go ahead and start our load. So you wanna make sure that your hose is turned up and that you have your cycle pushed onto standard. And I'll show you guys what that, look, what that looks like, like up close. First, we're gonna get the water in here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start our load. Everything is upside down because that is the way that I have to have it in here. So this reaches over there. Um, but you wanna make sure that you have your dial turned to standard because if you have it on drain and then you put water in here, obviously all the water is gonna go out. So I have my hose clicked up to right here and I don't have anything in there. And then the amount of clothing that I have is just like, I don't know if you can kind of tell. So it's not filled all the way to the top. There's a good uh almost about like my hand size all the way in there and i have a really really big hand so that's a good amount of space so that's all i have in here i don't have any jeans or anything and no i don't separate my laundry i know that i should but i don't come for me if you want to before i sleep hear the cricket see the moon have a side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright
Okay, so we've got everything in there and you can kind of like push it down if you want to. So we've got all of our clothes and we already added our soap. So now I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna turn it over here to 15 minutes. So it's going and I'll show y'all what it looks like. So it looks like it's not really moving a whole lot at first, but then like once the clothes like start to get saturated and it starts to get going, they start to move quite a bit more. Go. Okay, so the cycle is done. We're gonna boop, pop that down right there. I'm gonna open it up so y'all can see. And we are going to hit, oops, drain. And out comes all of the dirty water from your dirty clothes. Okay, so now all the water is out and I'm gonna show you that it does leave, like if you have anything on your clothes, my husband works at a brewery, so he typically has like residue on his clothes from the stuff. And I just cleaned my bathtub like last week, but look at what it does. So it does leave your tub kind of dirty and I have to clean my tub more often than I usually do. So that is one thing to keep in mind, but we're gonna go ahead and add our water so we can do our rinse cycle. Okay, so I went ahead and drained the water with the fabric softener, and now we're gonna get it popping with the spin dryer. So, this is a long sleeve shirt that I'm gonna pop in here to give you guys an idea of like how much clothing is in here. This is a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Some diversification. These are some leggings. Or no, these aren't leggings, these are actually sweatpants. So these are sweatpants and I feel like I can pop these shorts in here too. So that is all that is in there and now we're gonna grab the top piece. So we've got the top piece and we're gonna go ahead and pop this on so it's nice and tight. Close the lid, turn it on. And there she goes. Okay, so it has stopped and we're gonna take everything out so I can show you guys how dry, whoops, everything is. So here are my shorts. They will probably honestly be dry within like maybe 30 minutes. Like if you squeeze, there's no water that comes out or anything, they're pretty, pretty dry. So I'm gonna take all this stuff out and I'm gonna show y'all what I mean by you have to put a solid amount of stuff in here. If not, it doesn't work. So let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to barely fill it up and I'm gonna show you what happens. So I'm just gonna put in, let's say just like that, okay? So that's all I'm gonna put in. Then I'm gonna pop on the lid, if I knew where the heck it went. Oh. So I'm gonna pop on the lid and shove this down there and I want y'all to watch what happens. So sometimes it'll work like that, but most of the time, if you only put like a little bit, I probably should have put a little less. You heard how it knocked around in the beginning. That's what will happen. So you have to make sure that you put a decent amount in there so it does not do that. That is all I have for y'all. I wanted to give a really good detailed update on the machine because like I said, I've had so many people ask me about it. Um, and yeah, that is all I have for y'all. Thank y'all so much for the continued love and support. Thank you for all the views and the comments that I got on my first video. Um, if you have any more questions or you need 
more references or anything like that, let me know and I will answer you. I try to answer back every single comment. Not like I have like thousands of comments, but I try to answer y'all back as soon as I can. So again, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.